My God, that's a lot of Palatina. My hair's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so excellent start right there. For Even Spargo getting a little bit confused by all the Palatinas yeah. beating up on the wrong one for a split <laughs> second. <laughs> Are there any other Palatinas I should know about? <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Cam Palutena. <laughs> my my brain has been rotted by SpongeBob YTP since We're I was <laughs> since I was a lad. Oh yeah, my, 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 my skull is a husk of, of relevant information. I can only speak in pop culture quotes. This oh! Is, you know, no offense to you, Koopa, this is why they can't put me and Kimona on commentary anymore <laughs> together. Because me and them, shout outs to Kimona, we just very quickly devolve into into YTP quotes. <laughs> the boss, we love the debauchery of teams. So, so hopefully hopefully I'm making up for Kimona's absence. But you you certainly are. Alright, so Absent right now are two stocks from everybody, or excuse me, one stock from everybody. So now both teams down to two stocks. And there's the blue team that's on the back foot a little bit here, but doing a good, decent job closing the gap here. And you know, Sand and Louie Money are off of two straight set wins versus two very good teams. Whereas I, I, Chag and Spargo, you know, they've been getting a little bit colder. They've been waiting a while. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if after they lose this game one, and if they lose this game one, is Sam finds not one, but both opponents. Wow. And Chag's <laughs> like, I'm not even going to attempt <laughs> this one stock versus four. I'm just going to jump down and go next. Yeah. Chag saw the offer, and he's like, for these reasons, Sharks, I'm, I'm out. out. <laughs> deal or no deal. deal. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Howie Mandel, isn't it? And now it's on an island. It is? Yes. I haven't watched a game show since Jeopardy and like, yeah, they turn, Ten years. they turn deal or no deal to like a survivor hybrid where you do they do it on an island now. Huh? Yeah. I just like trivia. I'll, I'll ask you guys. I'm at good home. at trivia. What what TV, what game show gets elevated by putting it on an island? All of them, basically, I would say. American Idol Island, I'd watch the hell out American of it. American Ninja Warrior Island. But <laughs> also island. <laughs> <laughs> it's the exact same obstacle course, but it's just on an island. <laughs> if you if you fall, they feed you to the sharks. Oh god. Not no, not the sharks. Speaking of sharks, Jag trying to shark underneath these landings. There we go. Yes, yeah. sir. And already Spargo again near the danger percent here. So he's uh, eating a lot of his early offense of, uh, from the red team these first two games. And I think that's kind of been the thing that, that teams have been attempting against this Chag and Spargo duo is you would think that, like, okay, Spargo's a top three player on the entire planet. We probably yeah. want to focus the other guy and then 2v1 him. That's yeah. not really how it's been going. People have been scrapping with Spargo, kind of leaving Chag to his own devices, and the, the games that this team loses are, are the ones where Spargo dies first. Yeah, they get, you gotta have to hit the offense where it hurts. Obviously, you know the best offense is a good offense. Yeah. As, as as my 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 main man Nick Saban would yeah. say. God rest his soul. Not dead, just retired. He, he just went home. Just <laughs> he tired of winning. He went back to his Lamborghini dealership that he owns. Ooh, great combo right there for the blue. Ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping. All right, this Ooh. deficit Ooh. starting to build up, and it looks like they're once again attempting the Focus Spargo strategy, because Chag, the only person on this stage who still has three stocks, gonna get a back throw against Spargo. Louie Money going for a low nair, catches him, but he got limit oh. on deck, so he's gonna be able to make that back and how. In terms of like top five horse feelings, it's like, they're charting a cloud, but then they get limit. Yep. Yeah, it's like, it's so deflating. It makes you feel so bad. <laughs> Spargo also like, I, I swear, He's got some kind of deal with a, a higher power <laughs> to make sure that every time he gets edge guarded is one of the times he has limit. Because <laughs> I never see people hit him off stage when he doesn't have limit. Mama, there goes that man again. <laughs> nice back throw for Louis Money. Again, just immediately setting up the offstage scenario here. The offense very much <laughs> streamlined on making sure that Spargo does not get back to the stage and then figure out the rest later. No. Nope. Not quite. The cop high recovery, so no one there to catch the edge guard back to the stage. That's going to be a re-grab and a dash yeah. back to catch that. Yep, every day of the week. 
Spargo's gonna hit that. Yeah, I was actually kind of interested to see Spargo's decision-making tree in that situation because Lou Money went above the ledge, Spargo tried to grab him out of the air, and then it was like, oh, it's just checkmate here, cool. <laughs> Or whatever the other word you said is. So. Yeah, it's not Zugzvang. Yeah, it is it is checkmate because they die there. Yes. The game's over. <laughs> Zugzvang is if the game will continue just yeah. from a worse position. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Nice follow up right there. That's going to lead to a share stock scenario here. So everybody's yeah. down to one stock. Spargo having to take one away from his teammate. But that's why you had the stock tank. Yeah, that's, that is why Chag survives as he does. So that it, should this situation arise, he is there. <laughs> if you fall, I will catch you. Exactly. All right, limit on deck for Spargo. Let's oh. see if he's going to be able to utilize it offensively and not defensively. Dude, let's the answer rip. is no. Ooh, Spargo is just swinging. He's swinging, bro. He's just desperate to get the stock off. Again, you can kind of get away with that yeah, little bit. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> Everybody caught the smoke. Oh, God. The the backswing of that, that that's dangerous. You got to be careful when you're at Top Golf. You see somebody <laughs> in one of those bays. Yeah, you see someone trying to film a TikTok. <laughs> it's just like, oh god, get oh, me out of here! I'm not getting this ball back, am I? But the one v one, Spencer trying to do his darndest to to spend some time off stage to wait this limit out. Gonna have to come back on eventually. Doesn't want to go the way of that one stock of Louie Money's where he got dash attacked on a regrab. And then the limit off deck right now, so. Limit's gone. Spencer, you know, did did his job. Oh! And he's gonna catch him dropping shield early with a turnaround up smash on that there platform. That was beautiful. And the next game goes to Sen and Louie Money. Bacal. Excellent stuff right there from Sen and Louie Money. Again, in a really scary scenario there. He's doing it, waited out the limit, and now we're going to see the exchange here on the platform, the PK fire. And here's the thing, too, that wasn't necessarily the wrong decision by Spargo. Like, go no. to platform, reset here, like, this interaction didn't go well, so I'm going to try and catch Sen jumping with a down air, but then he holds shield, and it's just, he's stuck. Yep. There's no way out. There's only, there's only so many ways out of that scenario. So now 2-0 in the favor of the losing team here, sitting on a bracket reset. So that loses bracket momentum really much uh, helping them. I, I oh, think Spargo. Here. Spargo might be losing oh, this stock, mercy. and he is gone. Lord have mercy. That was a, a, a joint effort of running his fade. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent stuff right there from the red team again. Focusing in on pinpointing in on where you have to be, and that's going to be just taking care, taking care of Cloud. That big sword at limit is just such an important X factor, you know, not to ignore. Sen been doing a great job too of just using these side beasts to frustrate approaches aerially from both Spargo and from Chag. Just every time they try and come in, they get caught by something, and this time that something was a down air. And by God, that's going to be the stock. Yeah, so just like that, Spargo is uh, playing on potentially borrowed time here. You know, that, again, Cloud is... <laughs> <laughs> they hate Cloud. Oh, oh no! Oh my God! Jack's like, Jack's it. Here's the restock sound effect. He's like, you what? <laughs> We're a minute and you ten. What? <laughs> We're a minute and ten seconds into this game. What do you mean restock? <laughs> so, hey, can I borrow a stock? What about those two stocks you borrowed for me last week? Well, <laughs> there you go. Swinging for defenses, getting on the board, but is it too little, too late? It's looking like it. Certainly could be, but you know, at least they denied the, the six stock before we could curse it. Yes, <laughs> before we got our hands on it. Rapid jab here, unsuccessful. Decent idea from Chag, but not gonna work out. All right, but again, a nice exchange here for the blue team, allowing Spargo to just kind of sit back there and charge limit. Definitely gonna need it here if they want to mount any sort of a comeback, but Spargo already sitting at 100 on his fourth stock, so. I think you mean Chag's third stock. You're right. <laughs> that ain't his. <laughs> That's my stock. <laughs> I don't know I you. I don't know you. <laughs> oh, back throw here. Not quite enough to do it. And Spargo is actually going to find a down smash in all the chaos. And you know what? We'll call that worth. Yeah. We will take that. So. I like the idea from Chag dropping down trying to counter. But 
does not work out for you because you're going to die in the process. Louis Money and Send sitting on bracket reset right now. Not going to get it going just for yet. style at this yeah. point. <laughs> They got to spark, spike Spargo a fourth time. Yeah, at this point, he's just trying to flex. Das Booten going to connect, and it's just an up air off of a ledge jump. All right. So Sen and Louis Money showing signs of life here. A three set. That was a reset. A 3 0 reset. A 3 0 reset. It hurts, too, yeah. because you had all of the, uh, you know, the, the extra time to play with. Yeah. to find those adaptations before you go into the set yeah. that, that quote-unquote matters, but you didn't get any of the extra time. You just got destroyed yeah. in that first set. <laughs> you just got uh, shot in Freud or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you're going with I'm this I'm making one. up words. I got nothing. I, all right. <laughs> long, yes, and. <laughs> it's, been long, it's been a long day, man. I, I came in straight from work. My first, is, first rule of commentary. Yes, and. Yeah. Continue, my friend. Yes, sir. All right, here we go, folks. True finals is upon us. Who will have their universe uh, canceled out by the incursion? Is that what the, the stakes are here? They're not playing for money. They're playing for the uh, the existence of their home world? Yes. There we go. So you got to make the stakes big. It's like the... Uh, what? Uh, what's the name of the tournament in Dragon Ball in the, the first one? Oh, the, the, oh, my the gosh. Tournament of Power. The tournament That's of what power, I'm thinking yeah. of. It is the Tournament of Power right here. All right, it's let's been see. a while since I've watched the the old old Dragon Ball. Oh, that's not like Z and Z Kai. Shouts to Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball rips. Real ones, Rest though. in peace, Akira Toriyama. My goat. Alrighty, folks. So Somebody else might be going down too here in a second. Spargo, gotta yeah. be careful with the ledge. He has lost many a stock the first set, and he might be losing one right here. Oh, yeah, oh wait, yeah. that was a footstool. That was so cute, man. A phantom footstool is a footstool still, and it gives him enough height to make it safely back. No, for sure. Again, if you're Sparrow, you have to, you know, he's an expert in, in this realm for a reason. He's using every option uh, available to him to try to get oh. back to the stage. Just not quite right on the timing there from Spargo. Cool. Tried for the parry up smash, and instead gets hit by the last All pocket right. of Nair, but this is the best start to a game that Spargo and Chag have had in quite some time. Yeah, Chag doing uh, his part, getting those first two kills on the board. Uh, again, Spargo is just gonna try to you know, feed him this damage, and you know, it's up to Chag to be there to kind of clean it up, because Spargo's dirt, you know, survivability on stage. It's been tough, man. It feels like he's like barely been able to play the game. Oh, oh my. He's crazy. They were going for everything. And again, it's that same strategy of focus on Spargo. We kill him, and then we'll deal with Chag later <laughs> when it comes. <laughs> oh, that's your teammate, though. Nope. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. OK. Oh. Louis Money tried to save him off stage. <laughs> but he just couldn't quite get the angle right. So Sen going to go down, too. And I would not accept that trade at a pawn shop. Yeah, no. That is a. Uh Certainly a GameStop trade if I've ever seen one. I'm going to have to call in my buddy who's an expert. <laughs> oh, and Spargo, with a, for the first time in a while, an extra stock to work with. Just going to let that up B take them both down. All right, so now it's the blue team in prime pole position here. Looking to get on the board here after getting uh, swept in the first one. But there you go. It was just a warm-up set. Oh, pretty. It was a nice angle. It was nice. First one was just a warm-up set. And they managed to fire and fire strongly at the top of this reset. And I actually, I, I didn't see it before they clicked past it, but I think Chag took all six stocks that time. It looked like it, yeah. Obviously, that final one was was a, an assist more than anything else because Spargo alley yeah. and Chag just had to put it in the net. <laughs> but the game counts it as his, so we will too. There go by those rules. All right, so excellent start right there from... Spargo and Chag. And again, you love to see that sort of response after starting the win, after losing that first set the way that they did. You know, getting 3 0 and I don't, you know, at any level definitely stinks. <laughs> so, yeah, for sure. You know, good to see some signs of life from them show that they are still very much uh, but, here to play. And at the end of the day, Mr. Blue Shell, they're the team that could afford to get 3 0. Yes, I agree. So now it looks like it's, again, a lot of the same. Theming so far, it is Spargo who is eating the bulk of the damage to start here. They're, like, they're sleeper agents at this point. They're, they're programmed <laughs> to, to hunt him down. Destroy all Spargos. There's only one of them. <laughs> I think 
Smash Bros. would be a much different place if there was like five of this kid running around. No, I would be terrible. <laughs> Each one of them gets one of the characters. We got we got Aegis Spargo, and we got <laughs> Cloud Spargo, and we got Corrin Spargo. And <laughs> Into the Spargoverse? Sign me up for that movie. One of them's the plant player. <laughs> he doesn't do as well as the other ones, but we love him anyway. <laughs> All right, everybody on the board right now, but Sen, hold on to this first stock. Again, just kind of going to fade back and play the assist game. The dash attack will clean up that stock, and I shot from Spargo. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> that was so sick. When, when these two are in flow state, you can just feel it in your bones that you are observing a spectacle. Yeah. I'm just it's, it's like... I'm mesmerized. Like wow. Picasso paints. All right, nice landing down there, right there, and again, great opportunity for a team follow up and try to get those any you know any instance you can. I know this is a tangent, but the fact that Picasso lived in an era with cameras <laughs> is like so. That is kind of nuts. It's like it, it doesn't feel right because it feels <laughs> like Picasso was like I don't know. Yeah, he the, like died the in the seventies. Eighteen hundred. Yeah. yeah, he. He was a, he was alive at the same time as Color TV. Yeah, it's the <laughs> same thing. Like this, like I I don't know. It's like when you see pictures of like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. There's a lot of color pictures of Muhammad Ali out there, yeah. and they just always show the black <laughs> and white ones. Black and white ones. Culture's strange, man. But here we go, folks. Last stock scenario for everybody. This is huge for the red team. The entire complexion of this set changes if they go down 2-0 here to Spargo and company. Nice tech for Louis Money. Oh, and very nearly a down air to follow up the tech. Spargo's going to make it back all right. Nice down air. You see Chag doing the smart thing, just kind of camping, you know, with uh, the safe aerials, back air, forward air, just trying to get consistent and safe damage here. Everybody catching a little bit of smoke on that one. Yeah, oh, and Spargo rising from the platform with that down air. Going to be lingering just long enough to catch Sen jumping after him. Ooh. Leaves Louie Money alone, and Chag just stays back. He's like, all right, you got this, buddy. Go ahead. All right, like a phoenix from the ashes. Spargo phoenix down from the ashes. Hey oh, well played. Spargo and Chag have risen from a 3-0 uh, loss in the first set. Have now come back to go up 2-0 here. Do <laughs> you ever go down 0-3 just to feel something? No. You know what? I'm sure that there are players who do that <laughs> out go, there. Go down 0-2 just for the vibes. <laughs> you do know the vibes indeed, as we are about to find out if these are the vibes of the champions. Collision 2024, they currently are on set point. Jack and Spargo just need one more to close this out. There's two dual bears for the Palatinas and and a good uh, a good day for Chag too. I believe got third in squads as well. Yeah, probably the highest placing player across the the two. Racking up the medals for sure. So. Absolutely, and that says nothing about his medal potential come tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. He's definitely uh, you know he's definitely one of the the, the horses in the race for for, uh, for There's Chag a lot of horses in this race though. There's a little horses. bit of a cluttered track. Yeah. And Spargo, you are dead. Just Spargo's like that. down on one stock again. <laughs> Uh-oh. Shag's down to two stocks. <laughs> well, we might be going to game four. It's, 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 it's very likely. The stocks are melting off the screen right now. Statistically, we are more likely to see a game four. Wise man once said, never tell me the odds. Although the odds are not looking that good. So. Wise For man was Han Solo. <laughs> God rest his soul. Not dead. Just not real. I mean, he is dead. G yes. In the, in True. The spoiler. Spoiler for a nine-year-old movie. <laughs> the movie came out nine years ago. I don't, I'm sick. I, I think Star Wars uh, Episode Seven was like 2016. I'm sick. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> hey Koopa. I went and saw that movie in middle school. Back to the match. <laughs> Back to the match. Up <laughs> smash. Not gonna be enough to KO Louis Money there. Things are the dust has kind of settled a little bit, but uh, it's not looking good. Five stock to two deficit. Seven. Oh, make sure he's extra dead. Yeah. Pile of back air on top of that extra back crispy. throw. Fry him up good for the yep. barbecue, and Chag once again does not want to play the 2v1, and I don't fault him for it. But yeah. 
Red team on the board, sending Louis money. Might be tracking their way towards a reverse 30. Yeah, did, did you ever go down 0-2 just to feel something? <laughs> that could be the vibes. Go to reverse now. So. It could, could be. Not that Spargo yeah. and Chag went down 0-3 on purpose, yeah. but sending Louis money <laughs> went down 0-2. Who knows? You know, masking their power levels, you know? So. Always got to mask your power level. All right, here what we go. What does the scouter say? <laughs> it's over 9,000. All right, game four. Once again, back on PS2. And once again, the key to this game is going to be how long can Spargo <laughs> not get spiked yeah. for. Yeah, we're playing tag and Spargo is just Spargo always is in. perpetually in. Yeah. <laughs> There's no base in this one either. No. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just run to the house and say safe. Yeah. At this point, we're just making up rules so that your, your one friend just gets picked up the whole time. So. <laughs> Alright, nonetheless, though. So. Actually, if your birthday is in August, you get to be it for two uh -oh. No! Not like this! They're all on GameCube controllers, too, so I think the adapter disconnected. What in tarnation? What in tarnation? I think we might need a TO. Well, there was kind of looking at somebody to figure out what's going on here. Okay, sorry. Right. So I'm just gonna hey, yeah, they're they're stopping. I don't know what happened because all all four controllers disconnected in that case too. Because we saw on the menu. Gonna, uh, I guess we're just gonna restart the game. I guess is what's yeah, going So it. when when that menu pops up. The controllers that don't disconnect, you don't have to like move them around and re-click your, right. your slot. So all four controllers disconnected there. All right. Which so that means that it was the adapter, yeah. which I, I don't know what the calling is here. Yeah, looks like we're curious what the ruling is going to be here. Uh, it looks like we're just going to maybe just get a reset of the game. Just re We weren't that far into it. Have we tried turning the adapter on and off again? Excuse me, off and on again. Yeah. Yeah, check. Spargo just got a little bit too into it, was stomping his yeah. feet, <laughs> knocked the switch out of the dock. Oops, I accidentally unplugged the setup. There was a tournament that I was at in uh, in the Carolinas. It was one of the Peebnut events, I think. Um, and I was playing Squad Strike Randoms with my friend, and I found out that if I like smacked the table very lightly, the entire switch would turn off. <laughs> oh, no. And so every single time he went to edge guard me, I would smack the table. <laughs> but then, that turned into other people who were like watching from a distance, thinking that I was raging, which was really funny. <laughs> because after after me and my friend finished playing, somebody else came up to him and was like, "Why was last raging like that? Like, what were you guys doing?" <laughs> but I was just turning off the switch every time he oh, tried to edge guard me. Oh, that guy's a I don't want to play with that guy. I was I was banging on the desk. Alrighty, so we're gonna try that one again. Game four, coming up here. Looks like the strategy of always trying to attack Spargo is still very much the game plan here. And why not? It's, it's been, been working. Yeah. yeah, it's been very effective so far. And how. Dash attack from Sen going to... Actually, that, that was very dangerous from Chag. The dash attack <laughs> sent Spargo deep out to the right, and then Chag was just like, here you go. <laughs> See ya. Go out there. <laughs> go get him, buddy. But that was... That was dangerous. I just, that's all I got to say no, that about was it. Nuts. <laughs> could have could have killed his own teammate using his opponent as a projectile. <laughs> Go get him! All, all right. right, dash attack for Spargo. Spar we got Spargo, the only one up on three stocks. And if that is an omen of how any of these past games have gone, I think we know where this is going, Coop. Yeah, you know, it seems like it's the theme of either Spargo's down two stocks after you blink your eyes, or he seems to be able to kind of, you know, right the ship and hold on. So, you know, it seems like that those games that, they, that Spargo's not immediately in, in, in harm's way, it tends to favor well for the blue team. Down throw here is going to lead to Chad getting caught by the baseball bat. Yeah, it's not going to be too devastating, though, just because of the percent that he's at, but it still allows Send and Luis to fight against Spargo alone for a little bit, but then a back throw into an up smash. The bread and butter of this team, basically. Yeah, those, find few, another stock. those few moments you get those team combos, it just makes all the difference. Early up B with the limit. Just going to get himself out of dodge, and then Chag's going to follow up with an up air to get the stock. They are two stocks away across the team from going home or going to bed tonight, at least in the hotel, <laughs> your Collision Doubles champions. Absolutely. 
All right, nice edge guard there from Sen. That's going to be Spargo down to his last stock. Potentially it, here to keep this it is close. Definitely a situation that could occur. Spargo gets edge guarded early, has to restock, and then Chag dies, leaving Spargo in the 2v1. That, I don't know. See them trying to hold, see Chag trying to hold on for the stock for dear life. Again, he's letting Spargo play point because he doesn't want to get caught by any of the kill, any of these kill situations. 166 on Chag, by far the most damaged person on this stage. Sand trying to find something against him to take the stock out to remove the potential of a restock should Spargo go down early. But now Spargo's oh. just playing with this limit. Uh-oh, hang on, he's off stage. But he's gonna be able to get back safely. Uh-oh, wait a oh, second. but maybe not this time because no limit coming to save him. And despite going high up and around, Whoa. Chag gets restocked in time and it's Spargo in the 2v1 instead. This is de it's definitely doable for him, but... Well, you got to get out of this combo first. Oh, oh, no! And that's your teammate! Oh, no! Send the PK Rocket going straight into Louis Money's face, and he's going to go high. So Spargo recovers just fine, but now oh, he's, he's out of resources. Limit. He has no limit. He's off stage, <laughs> and Send, despite a disaster, manages to take us to a game five, and I think Luis forgives him. <laughs> Oh man! These two will still be getting drinks at the bar tonight, regardless. You're just reverse the field, just to feel something. I don't know. Maybe they will. Well, somebody's got to be feeling something at this point, even if it's just me. Because this what a way to end this game! Look at this. Oh, this oh man! And the up smash was inches away. A tiny bit faster from Spargo, or a tiny bit slower on getting the shield up from Sand. That would have been the set. You see this? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, cause you know too that if Sen if Sen lost that 1v1 versus Spargo after killing Luis, he and never would have heard the no, end of that. He would've he would have he would have gone back to Utah. He would have just gone home. Go back just go weekend. back to the go back to the, the mountains. I forgot what was in Utah for a second. <laughs> Other than Mormons. <laughs> the jazz? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What an odd name for a sports team. You like jazz? <laughs> Why, yes, I do. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we are here at actually our last game of doubles. No so. matter the outcome, this will be the curtain finale. Let us see who's going to come out on top here. So far, it's looking a lot of the same, but uh, pretty close right now. You know, every, everybody's sort of in danger of catching the smoke first. Yep, for sure. An F throw from Louis Money going to put uh, Jag in an oh. awkward position, but then. He can't quite regain control of the spot of the stage he was on. So Spargo just runs in with that up smash. Says sayonara. Yeah, beautiful stuff from the blue team to start as they have gotten the first two stocks off of Sen and Louie Money. Again, you see Spargo again applying that pressure. I don't want to the play with you. you know, I don't want to curse it again. Because like I said last game, the games where Spargo is surviving this long on his first stock are usually the games that Chag and Spargo win, but then we saw how that last game ended up, but we'll see here in a minute as Spargo goes down to that late hit up tilt. This is real close, man. It is neck so and neck. Close. Definitely neck and neck in terms uh, of but all know, the best races are. Yeah. Coming real down coming right down to the wire as it should. Coming around the final bend too pretty soon. It'll probably be Louis Money that crosses that first or first and final stock here in a moment as he's the only one pushing towards those triple digits as of yet. See the red team just kind of fading back, trying to get some positioning, but they're kind of locked in the corner here. Doesn't really have a lot of room to operate. Now finally able to open up a little bit here. Spargo gets a jab through those nest down tilts. Oh, and this is a terrible oh. spot for Sen to be in. The opportunity was pounced on, though, by the blue team, and they converted that into a stock lickety split. Ooh, and another one right after, potentially, here. Now nah, the Blade Beam's not going to be enough to KO just yet. So but he's we, so close to it. Yeah, we might just got to be real careful here. Oh, oh. Yep, the up smash going to catch him right there. So red team down to the last stock. And Sen possibly could be uh, falling victim here to this, uh, losing his last stock. A lot of damage immediately put up onto Louie Money. And then he just no gets way. caught with the turnaround cross slash it's not enough to kill at 70 percent but man was that scary spargo gotta yeah. get tricky there you go gets the not the good hit you want of down smash but able to save him some space 
Charging on that shield. Okay, Whoa. yeah. Spargo swooping in. Got to save his teammate there, or else that would have been a shield break. And okay, okay, they managed to get the double KO. That brings us to a final stuck across the board with the percents or anything oh, but no. even. Chag finds that KO, and this should be it here in just a second. One more hit will do it. One grab, one back air. That's all it takes. And Spargo and Chag are your Collision 2024 doubles champions. Congratulations clap. to them. Yeah, clap it up for Spargo and Chag as they survive the multiverse incursion of Louis Money and Sands. They're going to be the ones coming out on top here. So good stuff. Like I said, Chag, he's doing pretty good in squad strike today. Now getting the dub in doubles. And great way to end off your uh, your Friday going into singles tomorrow. And it's always, uh, some people consider it a curse to duel. The, like the, yeah. the, it's usually a pre-local curse yeah. more than anything else. Yeah, if you win the pre-local, you're, you're done, so. <laughs> But it's always nice to go into Saturday, uh, your round one pools against you know that that scary local Steve player yeah. <laughs> with uh, with a little bit of momentum and winning doubles definitely give that to you. So big congratulations to Spargo and Chag, great job to them, but also great job to the rest of our competitors, not just in our top yeah. eight but across the entire bracket. This was some of the best doubles I've seen in a while, to be honest. Like, yeah, no, that was the, a lot. Of, that was a there lot was of a fun. lot of a lot of weird stuff going on with like Steve Minecart and yeah. Game and Watch up air, <laughs> but. We got we got some entertainment, and that's what really matters. No, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, doubles is always a good time. You know, it's a great spectator sport. I love watching it. It's great, and, and, and it's been great in every Smash game. So I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. But that's gonna be it for us today, I guess. That, that's it. I think World's that's up. it. And yeah, I, we don't have any uh, any slides queued up for us either. So I don't think we got to read. Read no, more of those, so that's so. going to be it. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow, and then we'll be back on again on Sunday. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I. This week? No, we're not on together twice this weekend. I think no. I think we're only on this block together because I think I'm oh. with Hazmat. You're right. You tomorrow, are okay. Which I I, I wonder if Haz knows about this other. <laughs> I ain't gonna t I'm not going to tell him. Nobody tell, tell him. Yeah, Don't tell Haz. Tell. But again, this is, first of all, my friend, it's always fun. It's always a good pleasure to sit down and talk to you. So, yeah. In whatever accent, you know, you are. You are in whatever form. In whatever form, accent, area you're from, you are uh, significantly smarter than I am. And I always feel smarter every time I sit down and, and, and commentate with you. So. Well, I wouldn't sell yourself short either, my friend, the Blue Shell. You've won many a race. Yeah. Team villain, baby. Woo! Team all right. villain. But that is going to do it for our stream today. That is that. Actually, no. There's crew battle coming yeah, up. Yeah, crew battle. I, I completely forgot. So there is going to be Go back, uh, guys. The, the melee crew battle. I'm not sure if that's on this channel or if it's on the other one. Okay. So the, the melee crew battle will still be taking place on this channel. So we're going to we're gonna toss it over to some more experienced melee casters to bring you through that Heroes and Villains duel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Doubles Top 16 here at Collision 2024. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bad guys for life.